This science fiction story begins by describing how vast our universe is. Along with unlimited stars, there were also many strange kinds of planets present. On several of these planets, there were bizarre creatures similar to humans. Among all these solar systems, one particular solar system is shown where there is a planet that looks exactly like Earth. This planet is named Solar Race. The air and environment on this planet were an exact replica of Earth. Some humans lived on the Solaris planet as well, but they were far more advanced than the humans on Earth. They had made tremendous progress in technology much earlier. The inhabitants of the Solis planet continuously conducted research and discoveries on different planets. Surprisingly, they had not yet discovered Earth and were unaware that humans like them lived there. This meant that just as humans on Earth were searching for living beings on other planets, beings from other solar systems were also searching for humans. It confirms that different types of creatures might exist on other planets too. Now, on the Solaris planet, we are introduced to a man named Mike who had come to the riverside with his wife and daughter. Mike loves his family immensely and would do anything for them. Although Mike's life was going well, his daughter was suffering from a very dangerous illness. To treat this illness, Mike needed a lot of money, which he currently did not have. However, some time ago, Mike received an offer to join a major space mission. But this mission was extremely dangerous because the chances of returning were very slim. But the private institute on the Solaris planet was providing a lot of money to all the astronauts. And since Miles needed the money, he agreed to the mission. The mission involved traveling to a distant planet to conduct research and establish a new colony there. This mission was expected to take over two years, but Miles was determined to save his daughter's life by any means, so he enrolled in the mission without hesitation. Miles' daughter expressed her complete trust in him, believing that he would definitely return. Before departing on the mission, Miles hugged his daughter tightly. After everything was settled, the spaceship for the mission was prepared, and Miles joined the other astronauts. Their massive spaceship then set off towards the targeted planet. All the astronauts entered their sleeping chambers to prevent aging during the long journey. This concept ensured that the astronauts would not age while in the sleeping chambers, meaning they would be the same age upon reaching the targeted planet as when they started the mission. The spaceship was now on autopilot mode. As they traveled, more than a year passed. The spaceship was nearing the targeted planet when it encountered a swarm of asteroids. As the small asteroids began colliding with the spaceship, vibrations started. Miles awoke from the vibrations and quickly went to the control system. He saw that the spaceship was trapped among numerous asteroids, with no way to turn back. But they had all been sleeping in their sleeping chambers for many years. If they were suddenly awakened, it could have a very detrimental effect on their health, and many could even die. However, due to the large asteroids colliding with the spaceship, many systems were failing. Miles couldn't save the spaceship alone, so he decided, given the situation, to land the spaceship on the nearest planet to prevent it from being completely destroyed. Miles quickly redirected the spaceship toward an unknown planet and began approaching its atmosphere. However, many engines and control centers were severely damaged, so he couldn't control the ship properly. The spaceship eventually crashed onto a large rock. The saddest part was that all the sleeping chambers were destroyed and all the astronauts inside them were dead. Even though the spaceship was completely wrecked, Miles went to check if any of his friends had survived. Unfortunately, his luck wasn't good and he was the only one left alive on the spaceship. This realization saddened him greatly. With the spaceship utterly destroyed, Miles was now stranded on this planet. Fortunately, the environment of this planet allowed him to breathe comfortably. There were numerous rivers, trees, and landscapes similar to his home planet. However, Miles knew nothing about this planet and how dangerous it could be. In fact, this planet was none other than our Earth, but from hundreds of years ago. It was a time when dinosaurs and various strange creatures roamed our Earth. Miles was now surrounded by dangerous animals and dinosaurs. Realizing this, he began sending all the information back to his base from the spaceship. Miles mentioned to headquarters that a rescue team should be sent as soon as possible because their spaceship had crashed. He also reported that none of his colleagues in the sleeping chambers had survived. Then, Miles remembered that their main spaceship had two small emergency ships, which were intended for use in such situations. 
However, during the landing, these two ships had been thrown far away onto the same planet. With no other option, Miles set out to find these small spaceships in hopes of escaping. Despite having no clear direction or idea of where to go, he continued his search with a bit of hope. For many days, Miles wandered without finding anything. At one point, he considered ending his own life, believing there was no way out. But then he remembered his daughter and his promise to cure her illness. The thought of completing the mission and returning to his family motivated him to keep going. Suddenly, Miles began receiving messages indicating that one of the astronauts in a sleeping chamber was still alive. He immediately turned back and rushed to the sleeping chambers. Following the signals, he found the specific chamber and opened it. Inside, there was a girl about the same age as his daughter. Miles quickly brought her back to the spaceship and allowed her to rest. After a while, the girl regained consciousness. Miles asked her how she ended up there and where her parents were. Although the girl could understand Miles, she was speaking in a different language that he couldn't comprehend. When Miles checked the details inside the sleeping chamber, he discovered that the girl's name was Kitty and that she had been sent on this mission just for a trial. That night, they both spent time inside the spaceship. The next morning, Miles went out to explore the planet and search for the small spaceship that could help them escape. He had an advanced machine that could locate any object, which he used to identify the small spaceship's location. After a while, the search results indicated that the small spaceship was about 20 kilometers away, but the path was fraught with erupting volcanoes. As Miles proceeded to investigate the area, he was suddenly attacked by a small dinosaur. The dinosaur tried to bite his neck, but Miles grabbed it with both hands. The dinosaur's teeth and claws were sharp enough to tear through human flesh. Despite this, Miles managed to fend off the dinosaur, retrieve his electric gun, and repeatedly shoot the creature until it was dead. He then hurried back to Kitty and told her that they couldn't stay there any longer because the place was too dangerous. They decided to move forward together, aiming to find the small spaceship at any cost. Miles explained to Kitty that the area was extremely perilous, emphasizing the need for caution as they continued their journey. We need to reach the mountain, Miles explained, as the small spaceship they were searching for was on the other side of it. However, Kitty protested, saying she couldn't leave her mom and dad behind because they had come with her in the sleeping chambers. Miles knew that everyone in the sleeping chambers, including Kitty's parents, had perished. Cautiously, he lied to Kitty, telling her that her parents were on the other side of the mountain. He promised that if she came with him, he would reunite her with her parents. After a moment of hesitation, Kitty agreed to go with him. They planned their route and set off, deciding on the direction they needed to take. As they moved through the jungle, they encountered various types of dinosaurs. Some were small, while others were quite large. There were also flying dinosaurs attacking them from the air. Fortunately, Miles had his electric gun, which he used to protect himself and Kitty. Numerous terrifying dinosaurs tried to attack them, but Miles managed to kill them with his gun. Miles was most afraid of the flying dinosaurs because if they grabbed them, they could drop them from a great height, potentially killing them. Thus, he kept a vigilant eye on the sky. He continued to shoot the dinosaurs that appeared in their path, ensuring their safety as they moved forward. After a while, they reached a waterfall where they stopped to drink some water. Miles needed to determine the exact distance to the spaceship, so he climbed a tree to get a better signal. Using his advanced machine, he checked the direction and distance to the spaceship. Just then, the branch Miles was on suddenly broke, and he fell directly to the ground. The fall from such a height severely injured his arm, making it difficult for him to even lift his gun. The noise from his fall attracted several dinosaurs to the area. Despite his pain, Miles told Kitty to stay behind him and struggled to lift his electric gun to fire at the approaching dinosaurs. Fortunately, Miles also had small bombs that he threw at the dinosaurs, causing explosions that temporarily held them back. Dinosaurs kept coming, and Miles continued to fend them off with his electric gun. Seeing all this, Kitty became very scared and moved to a corner, thinking she would be safer hiding behind a tree. However, behind the tree, there was a whole swarm of flying dinosaurs. Realizing this, Kitty slowly tried to move to another direction, 
but her bad luck continued. Two lizard-like dinosaurs appeared in front of her, advancing to attack. As they were about to strike, Miles shot and killed them. However, one of the dinosaurs grabbed Kitty's clothes and began dragging her away. Determined not to let Kitty die, Miles fired his electric gun continuously at the dinosaur, eventually scaring it away. Shaken and terrified by the ordeal, Kitty pleaded not to move further. Miles, seeing his daughter and Kitty, insisted they couldn't stay in one place for long because the area was too dangerous and full of dinosaurs. Miles' protective instincts were in full force, driven by his need to keep Kitty safe just as he would his own daughter. Miles let Kitty sleep on his shoulder as he continued to move forward. After several hours, night fell, so Miles carried Kitty into a cave where they could spend the night. Using his gadgets to the fullest, Miles knew they needed to stay alert even inside the cave. Therefore, he didn't sleep the entire night. Miles used his devices to study the planet's structures and track the location of the spaceship. Suddenly, he noticed something strange and was shocked to discover that the same asteroids which had caused their spaceship to crash were heading towards the planet. If these massive asteroids hit Earth in large numbers, it would lead to the extinction of dinosaurs and other creatures. Miles realized they were witnessing the moment when the asteroid impact would wipe out the dinosaur civilization. Aware of the impending disaster, Miles chose not to tell Kitty. The next morning, as they were about to leave the cave, a huge dinosaur entered, attempting to eat them. Miles shot at the dinosaur, driving it further into the cave. They discovered a small tunnel, but its width was very narrow. Knowing the way out was blocked, Miles decided they needed to find another exit. He used a small bomb to blast the tunnel, making it wider. He sent Kitty through first, ensuring she reached the other side safely. Miles then tried to squeeze through the tunnel himself, but the dinosaur followed them inside. As the dinosaur approached, Miles kept firing his gun at it to hold it back while he crawled through the tunnel. Eventually, they both made it to the other side of the tunnel. They were safe for the moment, but Miles knew they had to keep moving and find the small spaceship quickly before the asteroid impact wiped out everything. Miles' determination to protect Kitty, driven by his memories of his own daughter, gave him the strength to keep going despite the overwhelming odds. In the end, after facing significant challenges, Miles finally emerges from the cave. However, he doesn't see Kitty anywhere. When he looks up at the sky, he notices that several asteroids are entering the planet's environment. This means the moment has arrived when, within hours, all these asteroids will collide with Earth, resulting in the extinction of all dinosaurs. Miles, feeling panicked, starts searching for Kitty. He realizes that they need to leave this planet as soon as possible, or else everything will be destroyed. Continuously checking his devices, he starts running away from there and searches for Kitty. Suddenly, he falls into a vast swamp within the jungle. No matter how hard he tries, he keeps sinking into it. Miles, along with Kitty, tried to search, but she was nowhere to be found. Now, he has no other way to survive. In the end, Miles also gives up all his hopes because he knows that escaping from the swamp alone is impossible. But in the next moment, Kitty appears there, and she had thrown a vine towards him from a tree. Miles manages to catch the vine somehow and pulls himself out. Then he immediately hugs Kitty, feeling grateful to her as if she were his daughter. He thanks her a lot because this is a new life for him. Miles had made Kitty understand that they have to leave the planet. Otherwise, the asteroids will completely destroy it. Therefore, now both of them start heading towards the mountains where their spaceship was present. The good thing is that the spaceship didn't suffer much damage, and it was ready to fly. Mayas also goes inside with Kitty, getting busy activating all the systems there. But now, all these things will have to be done quickly. Meanwhile, Kitty starts looking for her mom and dad because Miles had told her that they would be at the top of the mountain. After a while, Kitty realizes that all the sleeping pods have been destroyed suddenly, meaning her mom and dad are no longer there. Kitty gets quite angry with Miles for lying to her, but Miles had no other option. If he hadn't done so, Kitty's life would also have been in danger. However, Miles tries to make Kitty understand that he did all this only and only for her protection, and now they have to leave the planet in any way possible. Although Kitty was not trusting Miles anymore, he showed Kitty a photo of his daughter who was very sick, 
He told her that he loves his daughter very much and wants to get her treated after completing this mission. But if he doesn't reach there on time, he won't be able to save his daughter. Miles also confessed that he sees Kitty as his daughter, which is why he is worried about her. After hearing all this, Kitty becomes quite emotional and hugs Miles. She was also now ready to leave the planet. But slowly, many asteroids started falling there. Miles and Kitty quickly go back to their spaceship, which they were busy activating. But just the attack of asteroids wasn't enough. Now, two dangerous dinosaurs had also arrived, and they were causing a lot of damage to the spaceship. Miles knew that as long as they were stranded on this planet, their lives would be at risk, and these dinosaurs wouldn't let them go so easily. Therefore, Miles decides to distract the dinosaurs by getting out of the spaceship and running quite far away. He even uses an electric gun to attack the dinosaurs. He starts firing a very fast fire using his fully charged gun, causing one dinosaur to die right there. But there was still one dinosaur left. The bad thing was that Miles' gun was not charging properly now, meaning he couldn't fire anymore. The big dinosaur was getting closer to Miles to eat him. Miles also thought that now he won't be able to survive, so he didn't even try. But just as the dinosaur was about to eat Miles, Kitty gets a very good idea, and she plays a video present in the spaceship. This video was of Miles' daughter, which distracts the dinosaur. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Miles immediately starts running away from there towards the spaceship. The dinosaur sense of smell is very strong towards the spaceship, so it distracts from the video and now focuses on the real Miles. He now starts destroying everything while heading towards the real Miles. With everything falling apart on this planet, even the big asteroids were now falling everywhere. All the big mountains on this planet were also becoming quite active and erupting. This meant that destruction had started all around suddenly. Miles was continuously saving his life and heading towards the other side, but a dinosaur was still following him. Then Miles came up with the idea that he would take the dinosaur near the erupting lava where the mountains were constantly erupting. Therefore, he immediately runs towards a mountain, from which acid and lava were occasionally erupting. Miles cleverly brings the dinosaur onto the mountain, causing hot lava to erupt from inside. Miles felt that now the dinosaur would be killed, but the dinosaur skin is so strong that it doesn't make much of a difference. Now it starts running towards Miles to eat him. Miles doesn't even have a gun with him now, so he can't protect himself. That means he has accepted his death. The big dinosaur was also getting angrier as he was already quite angry. But as soon as he goes to attack, Kitty comes there, attacking the dinosaur in the eye with a sharp stick. This attack is so fast that the dinosaur is in a lot of pain and now can't see anything. Kitty immediately falls down and reaches Miles. But now the dinosaur couldn't see anything because of the attack, so it starts walking towards a big mountain. This small mountain was filled with much more acidic and lava material than the other mountains. Within a very short time, the mountain cracks, and all the acidic material erupts from inside it and falls on the dinosaur's body. And this time, the dinosaur's body completely melts away, and it dies instantly. Due to the continuous falling of asteroids on the planet, destruction was happening all around. Therefore, Miles immediately gets into his spaceship with Kitty and sets the destination to go back to their planet. All the systems of the spaceship were turned on quickly, and soon their spaceship starts moving towards the sky. Miles and Kitty will never forget this scene in their entire lives because so many asteroids were falling on a planet continuously. Although many asteroids were also colliding with their spaceship, Miles had already turned his spaceship in the other direction so that they were safe. Both were very happy that now, in any case, they would reach their daughter. Although Kitty's mom and dad were no longer there, she had found a new parent figure in Miles, who took very good care of her. Both lost a lot in their lives, but in the end, everything was fine and our story also ends here.